Sweden's new J-39 Gripen fighter jet could challenge Russia's air dominance. For years, Russia's air force has been a pillar of its military power. But now, Sweden's cutting-edge jet, stealthy, agile, and packed with advanced tech, is shifting the balance. So what makes the Gripen revolutionary? And how does it threaten Russia's aerial supremacy? Join us as we uncover the secrets of this game-changing fighter. Sweden, known for neutrality, has just unveiled a jet that has Moscow on high alert. With next-gen stealth, top-tier avionics, and extreme maneuverability, the Gripen proves Sweden is no small player. It's a rising force in modern warfare. The Gripen story began in the late 1970s when Sweden sought a fast, affordable, and versatile replacement for its aging jets. It had to hit Mach 2 speeds and take off from 800-meter runways, a key feature of Sweden's BAS-90 defense system, designed to keep its air force operational even if major bases were lost. Sweden considered foreign fighters like the F-16 and Mirage 2000 but ultimately built its own jet, excelling in air combat and adaptability. Dubbed JAS, it could handle airstrikes, ground targets, and reconnaissance in a single mission. Saab and other top Swedish firms collaborated to create an agile, high-tech fighter with a sleek design, lightweight frame, and a Swedish-built RM-12 engine based on the General Electric F-404. In 1982, Sweden approved a massive contract for the Gripen's development. The name, meaning Griffin, came from a public contest inspired by Saab's logo. The first prototype took flight on December 9, 1988, but early tests exposed critical software flaws. Two high-profile crashes in 1989 and 1993 delayed progress. Saab, determined to fix the issues, refined the flight control system, ensuring future models were safer. Despite setbacks, Sweden pressed forward. By the 1990s, Gripen production ramped up and upgrades followed. The enhanced Turbo Gripen was NATO-compatible with stronger avionics, in-flight refueling, and extended range. By 2008, Sweden had built an advanced, export-ready fleet. Today, the Gripen stands as a symbol of Swedish innovation, poised to challenge even the world's most powerful air forces. For oh, despite early setbacks, Sweden developed one of the world's most advanced yet cost-effective fighter jets. The Gripen's agility, modern avionics, and low operating costs made it a global contender, proving Sweden's decision to build its own jet was the right one. While military aviation is often dominated by nations like Russia, with its flashy Su-57, Sweden quietly built some of the most capable aircraft. The Saab JAS-39 Gripen, a multi-role fighter, stands out for its speed, agility, and affordability, competing with Russian jets at a fraction of the cost. Now, Sweden is making another leap with the Gripen-E, an advanced fighter designed to outmaneuver, outthink, and outmatch its rivals. Featuring cutting-edge electronic warfare systems, advanced sensors, and AI-driven combat capabilities, it challenges top-tier jets like the F-35 and Su-57. Unlike its predecessors, the Gripen E incorporates stealth technology, reducing its radar signature and making it harder to detect. Its super cruise ability, sustaining supersonic speeds without afterburners, enhances speed and evasion. The AI-assisted combat system improves threat detection and response, while network defense capabilities allow seamless real-time coordination with allied forces. With superior situational awareness, thanks to advanced sensor fusion, the Gripen E integrates data from aircraft, drones, and ground stations, giving Swedish pilots a crucial edge. Its lightweight frame and enhanced flight controls make it one of the most agile fighters, capable of outmaneuvering Russia's best. Russia long dominated air power, but Sweden's Gripen E is shifting the balance. Its radar jamming capabilities could neutralize Russian defenses, while its maneuverability makes it a formidable adversary in dogfights. Recent sightings of a prototype with redesigned, larger wings suggest further improvements, enhancing payload capacity and maneuverability. Saab confirmed the update, emphasizing the Gripen's ability to evolve rapidly. The first upgraded Gripen E took flight in 2021, proving its effectiveness. Currently, 16 Gripen E jets are in operation, shared between Sweden and Brazil, the only country outside Sweden to adopt the aircraft. 
With continuous upgrades and advanced capabilities, the Gripen E cements Sweden's place in modern military aviation. Manufacture 15 of its 36 ordered jets. Saab confirmed the revised wing is now standard on all new models for Sweden, Brazil, and future customers. The biggest advantage of the new wing design is increased capacity for external weapons, fuel tanks, and equipment. While the Gripen E could already carry heavy loads, this upgrade enhances its versatility. It can now carry up to four RBS-15 anti-ship missiles, nine air-to-air -air missiles, or 16 small diameter bombs. The expanded wing area may also allow for additional weapons through adjusted pylons or new attachment points. This upgrade aligns with Sweden's evolving defense strategy, driven by regional security concerns, particularly Russian aggression. Alongside joining NATO, Sweden is extending the service life of its Gripen C-D fleet while acquiring 60 next-generation Gripen E fighters. These upgrades ensure the jet remains a powerful and adaptable force for future challenges. The new wing isn't just about fuel capacity. It also enhances maneuverability. A larger wing improves low-speed performance, crucial for close-range dogfights. The bigger elevons enhance pitch and roll control, making the aircraft more agile especially during takeoff and landing with heavy payloads. Though low-speed agility wasn't the primary goal of the upgrade, it turned out to be a major advantage. Pilots will experience smoother handling and better control, even with additional fuel or advanced weaponry. A similar concept has been tested for the Eurofighter Typhoon. Eurofighter's Aerodynamic Modification Kit, AMK, improves agility while carrying heavy loads increasing maximum wing lift by 25%. Tested on the German Eurofighter prototype IPA-77 in 2015, the AMK package introduced fuselage stakes, leading-edge route extensions, and larger elevons. Airbus's combat aircraft chief, Kurt Rossner, explained that these modifications improve stability, enable new weapon configurations, and enhance turn rate, allowing for tighter maneuvers and better nose-pointing control. Even a heavily armed Typhoon could maintain strong dogfighting capabilities with these upgrades. Despite its advantages, no country has officially added AMK modifications to its Typhoon fleet. Meanwhile, the Gripen E will feature its redesigned wing as standard. Sweden and Brazil, its first customers, will be the first to test its real-world impact, particularly in combat. Designed for high maneuverability and payload capacity, the Gripen E's new wing proves small aerodynamic tweaks can bring big performance gains. While not solely for low-speed handling, this improvement could be crucial in dogfights, landings, and heavily armed missions. How do the Gripen E and F-16 compare in adaptability, performance, and maintenance, especially in Ukraine's war? The conflict has shown that Western cruise missiles are easier to integrate with aircraft like the Gripen than Soviet-era MiGs and Su-27s. The Gripen E stands out with advanced avionics, electronic warfare systems, and seamless NATO compatibility. It can launch electronic attacks while defending against modern threats, and its low maintenance cost and ability to operate from rough runways give it a major edge over the F-16. The F-16, in service since the late 1970s, remains a flexible and maneuverable workhorse. It has evolved with better radar, avionics, and weapons, reaching speeds over Mach 2. However, its shorter combat range and high maintenance demands are drawbacks. A U.S. report ranks it among the hardest jets to keep operational, requiring extensive pilot training and complex support systems. Ukraine is working to integrate F-16s, but the process isn't easy. Some pilots have completed training, but making the jets fully combat ready remains a challenge. Thanks for watching. Click the link on your screen for more videos. See you there.